girls. <clears throat> did you have a fantastic weekend? I know I did, but I was so excited to get back here and see you again. How have you been? How was learning at home last week? Did you do a good job? I saw lots of pictures and videos of all the fun stuff you're doing at home with your families. <clears throat> and I just wanna say, good job. Pat yourself on the back. You guys did a great job the first week. I loved seeing and hearing about all the fun learning you guys did at home. Are you ready to get started this week? I know I am. Hey, let's get started with our prayer before we forget, okay? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear God, we offer you our day with all our work and all our play. Bless our families and all the children of the world. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Very good. And now let's stand up and say the Pledge of Allegiance. Remember, if you don't have a flag in your house, you can pick any special item or person in your house to face, okay? So we put our hand on our heart and we say, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Very good. You guys are getting so good at that and you're getting good at reminding me too, which I know I like. Okay, <clears throat> can you believe it's Monday again? It's Monday. Does anyone remember what our month is? There's kind of a glare on it there. Do you see what the month is this month? It starts with a D. What sound does D make? Do you remember? D, D. Yes, December. It is December. That's the month we're in. And the day is Monday and the date is seven. So it's Monday, December 7th. Now let's look at our pattern here. I might even move you a little bit closer so you can see. Let's see. Zoom in. Zoop. Okay. All right. We had the, the gifts from the three kings. We had the sheep. We had the angel. And then on Friday when we weren't here, I'll show you. It's Mother Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus. Okay. So that is our pattern so far. Three kings, sheep, angel, baby Jesus. Three kings, sheep, and today it's a angel. Very good, it's angel today. Okay, we just talked about it. Today is Monday. Let's see if my reach is good, there we go. Today is Monday. I'll move you up just a smidge, just a little smidge. There we go. Today is Monday, so what was yesterday? Okay, let's sing our Cha-Cha Days of the Week song, okay? Sunday, Monday, cha-cha-cha. Tuesday, Wednesday, cha-cha-cha. Thursday, Friday, cha-cha-cha. Saturday, cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. So, today is Monday. What day comes before Monday? Do you remember from the song? Did I hear you say Sunday? You're right, yesterday was Sunday. Very good. And so it says yesterday was Sunday, today is Monday. What day comes after Monday? Is it Tuesday? Did you say Tuesday? I think I heard you say Tuesday. Very good, so tomorrow will be Tuesday. Okay, now remember we had a big deal thing happen last week. Do you remember what happened on Thursday? We now have five bundles of 10. Do you remember how many days that is? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 50 days. And so that means today it's 50, one. So I'm gonna put one in the ones column here and then I'm gonna tilt you up again. Oh, I'm moving you all around today. Are you getting motion sickness here? All right. So we have our five 10 frames all filled in. Look how beautiful they are. And now look at, I made another blank one right here. So how many dots do I need to put in this one? We had 50, how many days? 51. So I'm gonna put one dot in our new 10 frame. So this shows us that we have five groups of 10 and then one group with just one in it. Now, here's a hard question for you. How many more days do we need to fill in this tens frame? We have one dot filled in, right? 
Can you see behind my head? There we go. So let's count. How many more do we need to get to 10? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need nine more days to fill up our 10 spray. One plus nine equals 10. You guys are doing math. Can you believe it? I can. You guys are smart cookies. Okay. <clears throat> what is the weather like for you today? What is the weather by you? Right now, when I look out the window, it's cold and there's frost on the ground. Remember what we talked about what frost was? Remember, all around us, all the time, there's teeny tiny little things. We can't see them. They're called particles of water and they're, it's moving all around us all the time. And we don't see it because it's so teeny tiny. You can't see it with our eye. We could see it with a microscope, perhaps. But what happens is as those teeny tiny particles of, of water get cold and cool down, they turn from particles in the air to ice on the ground. And so that's why when it gets really cold outside, you see frost on the ground. It's because those teeny tiny little particles aren't moving around so fast anymore. And as they slow down, they turn into a solid. So that's why we see ice on our windows and on the, on the grass, it feels kind of snowy, icy, or on the roofs of our houses. That's why science, it's an amazing thing. So how would you describe your weather today? I think I would put Sonny in his coat with a sweater and long pants. He's probably going to need some socks too. I don't think we have any socks for Sonny. Maybe I need to get him some for Christmas. That would be a good Christmas gift for Sonny. Um, and he'll need some boots. He'll definitely want his mittens because it is chill, chill, chilly where I am. How is the weather by you? How would you describe it? Is the sun out? Is it windy? Is it raining or snowing? Is it cold? I hope it's not snowing. Mrs. Griffin does not like to drive in the snow. That sounds like a good outfit for Sunny though. You tell somebody what you think he should be wearing today, okay? I told you what I was gonna dress him in. Now, is your outfit like mine or is it different? Tell somebody that's around you or if no one's around you, tell your stuffed animal or your dog or your pet. I saw lots of dogs with you guys last week doing some learning. I saw some of you got some new puppies and some of you were playing with your dog. Some of you had dogs that had the letter J in their name. That was so exciting. I loved seeing that. This week, we're going to learn about the letter K. K, and remember, I told you last week what was special about K to me. My first name is Kelly, and it starts with a K. So I'm really good at making Ks. I'll be your resident K expert this week, okay? Let me show you how you make the sign language for K. I'll show you the picture and I'll show you with my hands. You look at the picture first. K. I bet you guys are all going to be really good at this because this is like bunny ears or peace sign, right? So you take your fist and you pull your fingers, your pinky finger, your baby finger, and your ring finger in, and you put your thumb over it, and then you've got the peace sign, okay? K says k you feel it on our neck here remember it's kind of like g k k you can feel it and then you say kick 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 so k says k kick it's like your fingers are little legs kicking it's kind of like J was J says J, jump, right? We're doing a lot with our hands these past two weeks. Pretty cool, huh? So now you know how to make the letter K. All right, I'm gonna put this back up here so we don't forget about it later. And you know what? We have this week and we have next week and then we're gonna be off for Christmas. And hopefully next week I'm gonna see you in person. But I thought as we're getting ready, for Christmas break, as we're counting down these next eight days, I thought we could do something really cool called a kindness countdown, okay? And since K, kindness, K, K, kindness starts with the letter K, I thought this would be a really fun thing for us to start this week. Whoops, as I whirl it on the ground. So I have uh, eight different chains on my kindness countdown. And on the inside of each chain, I wrote down something special we can do to show other people kindness. 
And so I thought today, after we read our kindness book, we're gonna do a kindness activity. And I thought each day this week, we could rip off one of these chains as our countdown to Christmas break. When we get down with all of these, we'll be on Christmas break. But I thought each day we could rip it off and see what nice kind thing it suggested we do. And we do that as we get ready for Christmas, right? Because Christmas is the time for giving and thinking about others, okay? So I thought today we can do that after we read our kindness book, okay? So here's our kindness countdown. Lots to talk about today. Mondays are always such busy days, right? Okay, what do you think we should do next? Do you think we should get ready to activate our thinking caps? Ready? I'm gonna put mine in my hand. Activate my thinking cap, activate my thinking cap. Turn on my ears, turning on my ears. Testing, testing, can you hear me? I can hear you. I think we're ready to go. Okay, let's start with our ABCs. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Will you sing with me next time? I hope you sing with me this time. I hope you had your singing voices ready. Okay, <clears throat> now we're gonna get ready to rhyme, so make sure those ears are turned up. Ready? Toy boy. Good. Blue shoe. Blue shoe. Good. <clears throat> Horn corn. Horn corn. Good. Below toe. Good. Past last. It's good job. Okay, I'm going to give you the sound, the word, and then I'm going to give you the sound. Ready? I guess switch that around. I'm going to give you the sound, and then I'm going to give you the word. B, b, boy. B, b, boy. H, h, horn. L, l, little. C, c, come. C, c, come. Y, y, your. Good job. Ready? Get those choppers. Ready? <clears throat> Got yours ready? Got mine. They're nice and warmed up and ready to go. Okay. <clears throat> Buh, oi, boy. Good. G, eight, gate. Good. D, eep, deep. D, eep, deep. Yes. C, up, cup. <clears throat> Good for you. H, huh, orn, horn. Yes. Good job. Okay. <clears throat> this one's a little, little different. So listen. I'm going to say the word. And then when I say the last sound in the word, I'm going to shoot my arm up in the air. And I want you to do the same motion. So I'm going to give you an example first. Ready? Horn. Okay, so you're going to repeat after me just like we do. Come. Come. Good. Fruit. Fruit. Good. Us. Us. Good. And sheep. Sheep. That one's kind of fun. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. That one was kind of fun, wasn't it? Okay, ready for the next thing? All right, I'm going to give you a word part, and then I'm going to add a sound to the beginning, and I want you to help tell me what that new word is. Ready? The word part is add. Can you say that? Add. Add. Look what my mouth does. Add. Okay, ready? S-add. What word is it? Sad. Good. Ready? m Add. Mad, yes. D add. Dad. Hi, Dad. B add. Bad. Oh, I hope we're not being bad, right? P add. P 
pad. Good job. You guys did great with that. Okay, now I'm gonna give you a word <clears throat> and I'm gonna take out the beginning sound and you're gonna tell me what that word part is, okay? So the word is hip without the huh sound. Hip without huh. Ip, yes. How about sip without suh? Ip, yes. How about tip without t? Ip, very good. How about lip without la? Ip, yes. And how about dip without da? Just ip, you got it. Okay, <clears throat> are you ready for the rhyme? I wonder if you know this one. It's about a little boy and he's blue. Can you see it? There we go. So we're just gonna do the first line, ready? Little boy blue, come blow your horn. Can you say that with me? Little boy blue, come blow your horn. I wonder why he's blowing his horn. I wonder what he needs to be doing. I guess we'll find out about little boy blue later this week, okay? That's it for now. I'm gonna meet you back here in a little bit for some story time and some crafting. Are you ready for that? Does that sound good? Okay, I'll see you here in a little bit.